Hello, my name is Jeff Cross and this is Straight Talk. And today I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner. Hello, Gavin. Hi, Jeff. Good to see you again. Today we plan to discuss COVID-19 vaccine myths. Boy, what a topic. We're gonna debunk a few myths. Actually, Gavin is going to do that as our expert myth buster. I wanna tell everyone to buckle your seatbelts because this is important information. We're gonna cover five main points. So this episode of Straight Talk may go a little longer than normal, but crucial that you stay with us and watch all five of these myth, myths that we're going to bust. Are you ready, Gavin? You sure am, Jeff. Okay, myth number one is this. The vaccines are not safe because they were developed so fast. This is a great question, Jeff. The, the GBAC, uh, Global Biorisk Advisory Council, a division of ISA, we focus on evidence-based interventions. Now, of all the modern medical interventions that we have at our disposal, few have been victim to as much falsehood or myths as it comes to vaccines. So again, we're, we're battling this pandemic, the vaccines are being approved and, and, they know, and we are seeing that they do work. Now, it's really interesting that, that this, they have, we have our scientific community has developed a COVID-19 vaccine faster than any other vaccine to date, under one year. Now, the previous record breaker was the mumps vaccine, which was developed in four years. So again, for instance, you know, in just under one year, scientists started from scratch. SARS-CoV-2 was new to science, but coronaviruses were not. And we've, because we've been studying coronaviruses for decades, I want to emphasize, though, there are a number of reasons the COVID-19 vaccines were developed more quickly. For me, as a scientist, as an epidemiologist, that's exciting. But none of these reduce its safety profile. Myth number two, COVID-19 vaccines can give you COVID-19 disease. The COVID-19 vaccines cannot give any person, any individual, the COVID-19 disease. Regardless of the type of vaccine, Jeff, none of these vaccines that we're using today contain live virus, which is required to get infected and get the disease. But this is important. Everyone should understand any side effects, headache, chills, a sore arm, that's a good thing because it's due to your immune response actually working. It shows that you're reacting positively to the vaccine and it's not from being infected. Myth number three is really interesting. People wonder, People who have had COVID-19 do not need the vaccine. Jeff, I get this question every day. Even people who have tested positive for SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus that causes COVID-19 disease, at any time in the past should be getting in line for vaccination, should be vaccinated. Now, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC has just issued a statement due to the severe health risk associated with COVID-19 disease, and the fact that reinfection with COVID-19 is possible, a vaccine, vaccine should be offered to you regardless of whether you've already had the SARS-CoV-2 virus infection. Now, I've seen, Jeff, personally, lots of COVID-19 patients. They are really sick. I have said this many times to you and to others, this virus is evil. And again, we now have some hope. The vaccine has given us hope to either mitigate or end this pandemic. Myth number four. After receiving the vaccine, you cannot transmit the virus. This is another great question, Jeff. Now, these COVID-19 vaccines, the ones you've heard from Pfizer, Moderna, the ones that are coming out from AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson very soon, are designed to prevent you from getting ill, from getting sick by following. You, you, you still may get infected from the SARS-CoV-2 virus, but it's to decrease the symptoms. It's to keep you out of hospital. Now, what we, what we were still working on is that and, th and, and we do know is that a person who has been vaccinated may still be able to carry the virus, which means they might also be able to transmit it. But right now, all of us, all the scientists, all the epidemiologists, all the physicians, all the nurses that we are working on this, we do not know whether the vaccines will prevent infection. That's important once a person has been vaccinated. But this is really important, Jeff. You need to continue to wear a mask in public places, wash your hands, clean and disinfect high touch points and practice physical distancing as recommended, even when you've been vaccinated. So Gavin, our final myth is one everyone must wonder about. Myth number five is the vaccine will protect against COVID-19 for life. Yeah, Jeff, there's not a day that goes past where someone calls me, text messages me, sends me an email. Hey, once I've been vaccinated, I can resume normal life. Unfortunately, the answer is no, this is not true. Now, we've been studying this virus about, about a year now. 
what we still don't know, it's really, really, we've got to be really clear what we don't know, Jeff. We don't know how long immunity will last. But according to the World Health Organization, and they've made a statement just recently, it's again too early to know if COVID-19 vaccines will provide long-term protection. That research is ongoing. But we are seeing some initial data that shows that, again, that immune response that provides at least some protection. So what we're seeing is that, yes, we get, we get an immune response from natural infection, which does go away, but provides you again with some protection. We're also learning how long, or so, sorry, how strong this protection is. We don't know and how long it lasts. But what we do know from the, the, the phase three trials the, and then the follow-up research is that vaccination does decrease the severity of the symptoms. And again, what we're thinking right now, and everyone's talking about this, Jeff, is that this virus may be going down the same pathway as influenza or flu. That may also be the same for the, you know, for the COVID-19 vaccine. It may become an annual COVID-19 shot. We don't know just yet, but that would be the same pathway, the same thing we do each year for the flu shot. Well, Gavin, there we have some knowns and some unknowns. Only time will tell us some of this information, but thank you so much for clearing up some of these myths. Oh, thanks, Jeff. And now, again, it's really hard to believe that it's not more than, you know, that's more than one year ago that we knew very little about SARS-CoV-2 virus. We, we knew nothing about the COVID-19 virus, was totally, to, entirely unknown. But now we have a number of viable, effective and safe vaccines. And it's important to keep sending us your questions, to keep the conversations going as we learn more. I, I know you and I, Jeff, will share those that new knowledge with everyone uh, within the cleaning industry.